Hi everyone! Uh, I've been wanting to make a video for a while now to give a little bit of an update um, of what my life has been like for the past few months. Um, today I am three months into something called topical steroid withdrawal, uh, which means that I quit all uh, creams that I was using uh, that had steroids in it to treat eczema. So I've had eczema since I was a baby, but it was never really a big deal, um, and I used topical steroids to treat it. And then uh, a few years ago, because of some changes to my diet, my eczema got really, really bad. And so the past few years, I've been using a lot more topical steroids and also immunosuppressants like Protopic. Um, and I got very addicted to them. Uh, even though I was following the advice from my doctor, I was using the correct amount. Um, but you can easily get addicted and it's something that uh, doctors don't really tell you about um, and even after in the medical community it's not widely accepted um, so a lot of research has gone into figuring out what's going on with me and I'm working with a naturopath I just wanted to make a video to kind of tell everybody what's been going on and kind of warn about the dangers of using these topical steroids because they're prescribed so easily for like for everything for heat rash minor skin irritations any redness they prescribe these creams and they work really well because they constrict all the blood vessels but um if you use them regularly or over a long period of time or too much, then you can go into topical steroid addiction and the only way to fix that is to go into withdrawal, which takes months to years. So I'm three months in now. I still have a long way to go. Um, I'm a lot better than I was a couple months ago. Here's what I looked like at the start of the journey, uh, the first five days and then the next couple weeks in. Uh, this has been the hardest part so far, but uh, the condition works in cycles, so this will probably come back. You can see there's a lot of swelling and crusting, which is because the blood vessels are dilated and plasma is filling the skin and leaking out through it. I started uh, no moisture treatment, so I'm not using any moisturizers, no lotion, no oil, and also avoiding water, so limited showering, um, which is always fun. Uh, but water hurts so badly. <laughs> Since starting the no moisture treatment in January, there's been way less swelling and oozing, as you can tell from the video today. Um, it does look a lot worse than it does on camera, but it's definitely better than before. The funny thing about this condition is that it's not just like red and itchy skin. It affects almost every system in the body. So um, it's insanely itchy, like I can't even describe the itch. Um, but then also it feels like your whole body is on fire because you have nerve damage over your whole body So the nerve endings are just trying to repair themselves and it's really painful um, And then it really affects your hormones your HPA access and so your adrenal glands are all messed up because you've been putting um, Cortisone on your body and then your body stops making its own cortisol um, So then you have no response to stress and any minor stress just is so painful Everything flares up and it just feels like your body is on fire um, You also have no way to regulate your temperature temperature regulation is non-existent so you can uh, heat up really easily or you'll be freezing cold for days on end um, shaking and you just can't warm yourself up um, and you'll be you'll be sweating and cold at the same time and it's crazy there's so many other symptoms weight loss I lost like 20 pounds um, and hair loss insomnia sometimes I just don't sleep at all because um, of the uh, cortisol levels and also you're just so uncomfortable and in so much pain and there's nothing you can really do to treat it so it sucks a lot um, so I want to make this video if you have any skin conditions be careful with topical steroids best to not use them at all because you can get addicted only after using it I think they say like seven times it only takes and some people can get addicted more easily than others um, so do your research be really careful if you get any of these and watch out for the immunosuppressants too like protopic um, they say that it's not a steroid so it doesn't cause withdrawal but it does uh, for sure there's lots of Facebook groups with lots of information and people who are going through that so yeah don't use steroids and then you don't have to go through withdrawal and you don't have to go through years of pain. That's the moral of the story. So.